What is going on you guys? Holy Pokemon back again. Today we're going to be opening up a Eternus V box tin set. Let's get into it. Let's open it up. Before we open this pack, this tin up, uh, you guys heard about that evolutions craze that's going on right now? Jesus, evolutions has been nice to us on this channel, but a lot of people really don't like that set. Um, the prices for that set have doubled in the last week. Uh, they they've gone to like crazy amounts. They've um, <laughs> like. Boot, uh, blister packs are now $36. We have uh, just regular booster packs going for $12 each. And it's all because, you know why, it's because Logan Paul opened up that, you know, base set booster box. And, you know, obviously, since people can't afford the ridiculous price of those base set booster boxes, they go to the next best, next best thing. And what's the next best thing? <coughs> Evolutions, of course people are going nuts over it and it's not a big deal because I know I'm never gonna buy uh, a, a blister box of evolutions ever but the worst thing is that it's causing prices for regular boxes such as like this one here that I'll be opening up soon just because they hold an evolutions pack inside of it the prices have all gone up so I just want to say again Fuck you, Logan Paul, man. <laughs> you, you fucking ruined this shit for everyone, I swear to God. But anyway, moving on from that subject, here is our promo card. It is different from any other Eternus card. It is Sword and Shield number 64. It's a very nice card, actually. You get the whole body of Eternus instead of his, like, VMAX form where he turns into, like, Master Hand. You guys remember Master Hand from Super Smash Brothers, yeah? Or am I dating myself there? Here we go, there's the code card for the tin. Go get yourself an Eternus V promo card. Five packs in this tin, pretty good. Two Darkness Ablaze, a Rebel Clash, a Base Set Sun and Moon, and a Fates Collide. I don't think we've ever opened up Fates Collide on this channel. But first, we're going to be opening up the Rebel Clash because nobody gives a shit. <laughs> this is probably one of the worst sets from Sword and Shield so far. Uh, never really liked it, never really opened it on the channel, but here you go. There is the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. We are fucking off Dark Energy. We have Speed Energy, Bella Piper, Palo Sand. Galarian Darumaka, Vulpix, some Cum, Galarian Farfetch'd, Galarian Meowth, a Reverse Vikavolt, that is a rare I believe, or at least it was in the Japanese sets, and a rare is a Dragapult, holographic. This, <laughs> this Pokemon's pretty cool, it shoots its like first evolutions out of its little cannons on its head there, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet card. Is that a psychic? Psychic type? Is he is he dragon and poison maybe? Next, we're gonna do Darkness of Blaze. Two of these packs in this box, in this tin, box, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Here we go, there's the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Getting rid of fire energy. Could it be another Charizard V Max? Wait. Doug Trio, billowing smoke. Pretend I didn't say anything. Heat Energy, Panseer, Mareep, Snubble, I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. Tauros, Rookity, a Reverse Star Raptor, and a Big Fox. Next, we're doing Sun and Moon Base Set. We'll save, uh, save the fate. Oh, that just opened so easily. It just literally fell apart in my hand. There you go, there's the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. We have another Fire Energy, a Herdier, Steeny, Poliwhirl, Togedemaru, Carvana, Picky Peck, Sandile, Snubble, a Reverse Hollow Pelipiper, and a Cosmium Rare, if you call it that. Alright, Fates Collide. 
Alright, I'm not sure at all what is in this set. Obviously, we have Zygarde, 100% on the front. Um, we have a, ooh, a nice code card. There you go. One, two, three. Only three to the front. Because it's X and Y. We have a Wormadam. Fossil Excavation Kit, Fairy Garden, Larvitar, Carvink, Burmy, Bronzor, Binacle, a Reverse Hollow Pupitar, and our rare is a Mew Holographic. That could be something cool. We have Memories of Dawn. This Pokemon can use attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in play. You still need the necessary energy, obviously. An encounter. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Pretty neat. Pretty sweet card. I always love Muse. She's always so cute. Moving on to our last pack. You know I had to save it for last. It's the Charizard. Charizard Darkness of Blade. How sweet was uh, that shiny Charizard video that you guys saw the other day? If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below or there'll be a card up in the top left corner if you want to go check that out. I got a shiny Charizard out of the Champion's Path. We have a Psychic Energy here, a Semi Sage, Billowing Smoke, Turbo Patch, Cub Chew, Wimpod, Bunnelby, Toxel, Sinisty, a Reverse Flower. Very nice. And a rare is a Salamance VMAX. Woo! Here we go. That's it. That, I knew the Charizard had to be holding something there. Amazing. We just got our first Salamance V and now we can turn it into our Salamance VMAX. Very nice pull. Not so bad of a tin after all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Holy Pokemon. I please ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace out.